Hello, Eagles Nation. This is your superintendent, Dr. Johnson here. And I'm uh, just coming at you today with a little sample video about what to expect with our new rapid testing for COVID-19. So as you can see here in front of me, these are the materials for the testing. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. This is a Binax Now, an Abbott's Binax Now rapid test. And we have uh, more than enough on hand here, courtesy of the state, the free tests. Um, that came through Monroe County, and we're going to be testing starting next Thursday and Friday. So here's how it goes. Um, working with some of our school personnel, uh, students will report to um, a designation, a designated area, um, where they're going to be called down in small groups. And the personnel under the direction of the school nurse or school physician and the Monroe County Health Department adds the reagent, and then they will open this little package here, and you have this Q-tip looking device. Now, I know some people are, are uh, nervous that this is gonna be the test that we've either experienced or heard of that goes right up to the, um, deep into the nose. This isn't that. Instead, students are either gonna be directed if they're older students, or an adult will do this for younger students. They're gonna place it into their nostril. As you can see, I don't have it very far. They twirl it around a little bit. They put it in the second nostril. They twirl it around a little bit, all right? And then they hand it back to the staff member or the staff member takes it. They put it into this package here. And then they remove this adhesive seal, twirl it around clockwise like this, close it, and they wait 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, we'll have the result of our test. Students, once they do this, they'll be directed back to class. Uh, parents will receive in their email a notice that their student has been tested that day. And if any students do test positive, we will discreetly call them down to the COVID isolation room. Parents will be contacted and we'll follow our normal procedures for any symptomatic students that we've been following this year. So any questions, feel free to give either me a call, shoot me an email, contact your building principal. But I'm sharing this video not as a way to convince you in doing this, but to show you what to expect. Uh, today in the mail, you're gonna receive a consent form and we ask you to consider that carefully. And uh, we look forward to working with our families to continue the great teaching and learning that's happening in our classrooms, both remotely and in person across the district. Thank you for your support.